St. John chapter 15, verse 25. Let's just read that again. I'll read that one, uh, and uh, let's go back to number 16. St. John 15, 25. Read it. But this cometh to pass, that the word might be fulfilled that is written in their law. Read on. They hated me without a cause. Meaning that nothing was done to them for people to be sitting there having that much hate in their heart um, out of the jealousy and the envy because they're not, okay, who the people is that they hating. Let's go back to number 16. In verse 16, read it. And Moses said unto Korah, Be thou and all thy company before the Lord, thou and they, and Aaron tomorrow. Read on. And take every man his censer, and put incense in them, and bring ye before the Lord every man his censer. Come on. Two hundred and fifty censers, thou also and Aaron, each of you his censer. Yeah, you want to do my job? So come and do my job. Come on. You want to do Aaron's job? Well, get your censers ready. Come and do his job. Let's see who the Lord is going to accept. Read on. And they took every man his censer and put fire in them. Come on. And laid incense thereon and stood in the door of the tabernacle of the congregation with Moses and Aaron. Read on. And Korah gathered all the congregation against them unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And the glory of the Lord appeared unto all the congregation. Okay, unto all the congregation. Now, remember what I said earlier, okay, about the congregation. The majority of them was with the, the, the conspirators. Okay, wicked as hell coming out of Egypt, okay? Read on. And the Lord spake unto Moses and unto Aaron, Read say, on. saying, Come on. Separate yourselves Read on. from among this congregation. Read on. That I may consume them in a moment. Yeah, the Lord's got the, he was about to get, he was about to get and smoke everybody. He was about to get them. In a moment, just like that, just like that, real fast. Nothing but smoke and dust. Do everybody understand that? What did he say? Read it one more time. And the Lord spake unto Moses and unto Aaron, read on, saying, read on, separate yourselves. Yeah, the Lord wasn't playing. He was about to get. He was about to get him. He but the whole congregation told Moses and Aaron, step aside from these people. Read on. From among this congregation. Read on. That I may consume them. That I may what? Consume them. Read on. In a moment. Let's go to the book of Numbers chapter 14. Numbers chapter 14. You know, the Lord is tired of these people. Okay? The scriptures tell you that the Lord is angry with the wicked every day. You got, but you got people that's wicked. Swear they're getting away. Like the Lord ain't taking it up. Being wicked, lying, no, every day. The Lord angry. And when the time of that judgment comes, okay? Um, you're going to be ready to take you out with whatever destruction is coming. Okay, hey, you walk right around the corner, right into it. In a moment. Numbers 14 and 11. Read that. And the Lord said unto Moses, Come on. How long will this people provoke me? Yeah, yeah, how long is, you know, is this people going to provoke me? Like constantly doing stuff and, and, and walking around like they're going to get away with it. You know, do they know who I am? Do they know that I'm the God of justice? Do they know that my justice will not sleep forever? How long are they going to continue to do wrong? Read on. And how long will it be ere they believe me? And how long will it be ere, that means before in time, they will believe me? Like how long before the judgment come are they going uh, to take for them to believe me? Read on. For all the signs which I've shown among them. Come on. I will smite them. Read it again. I will smite them. Read on. With the pestilence. Read on. And disinherit them. And disinherit them is being put out the nation. Read on. And will make of thee a greater nation. Read on. And a mighty and mightier than thee. Yeah, the Lord will start over if he have to. Okay, the Lord don't need us. Any of us. He don't need you to fill a seat. Okay, he don't need you to do anything. He will smite you in a moment and just raise up somebody in your place. Let's go back to Numbers chapter 16. Numbers chapter 16 and verse 22. Numbers chapter 16, verse 22. Read. And they fell upon their faces. Okay, so they fell upon their faces because the Lord was getting ready to smite the whole congregation. And um, read on. And said, O God, the God of the spirits of all flesh. Read on. Shall one man sin? Read on. And wilt thou be wroth with all the congregation? So it's not it's not that one man sin. All the congregation was, uh, most of the congregation was going off. But that way they, they putting it is very, um, why they putting it wisely to God. Because that's the way you got to deal, you got to talk. You got to talk wisely. And basically there was still some righteous among the congregation. Like Joshua 
um, and his people were among the congregation. So they knew that they were righteous. And as long as they were righteous among those wicked people, it was few in number that there was righteous there, but they were pleading for the righteous. Again, situations reapplying. Remember, Abraham knew that lot was in Sodom. Right. And when the Lord was about to smite that place, the Lord, he, said, you know, he spoke up. You know, would you smite it? If there were righteous in it, would you, would you get rid of the whole place? Y'all remember that? Y'all no. remember that? No. Okay, so this is what they were pleading. They were pleading for the righteous that was among the wicked. A large part of the congregation was wicked as hell. Do everybody understand that? Sure. Um, they followed the conspiracy of these uh, conspirators, but then you still had righteousness that was among the congregation. The Lord was getting ready to destroy the congregation for the wickedness that was among. Let's go to the book of the, uh, Genesis chapter 18. So we can see Moses plea what he was really talking about. He wasn't talking about the people. The people had the demons in them. Y'all gonna see that. <laughs> you gonna see that. Okay. The scripture says, show favor unto the wicked and they will not learn judgment. Genesis 18, 20. We're gonna start there. Read that. And the Lord said, because the cry of Sodom and Gomorrah is great. Come on. And because their sin is very grievous. Read on. I will go down now. Okay, that cry of Sodom and Gomorrah, I'm telling you, is worse than um, what you see now. Okay, you think it was some confusion here. Okay, the deal, you don't even want to see that please come back, okay? Um, but you're seeing it in America. It's going to get way worse, okay? Um, than the stuff that you're seeing. You're going to go out down. I mean, it's already horrible. I mean, it's horrible, right? It's completely horrible, right? But the, the, the demons are more bold with it, okay? They're going to be right there on the train, right in front of you with the damn madness, okay? Getting out of here. You're going to open up the door to a cab. It's going to be two demons with their eyes lit up like cats. Look at that, you. Yeah. The devil in them. Everybody understand that? Cool. And the wickedness is spreading. Like that little leaven spread at the, you know, leaven of the whole lump is in, is in elementary schools, okay? Yep. Yeah, elementary coming home with a broke wrist. His wrist broke as hell. Man. Right. But what, what happened to your wrist, boy? Nothing. I got a new friend. Oh. Yeah, this is real. This is real. This is real, okay? Um, on many different levels, okay? Um, deviance, okay? So it was grievous sins. Read on. Verse 21. Come on. I will go down now and see whether they have done altogether according to the cry of it. Now read on. Which is come unto me. And if not, I will know. Come on. And the men turned their faces from thence. And went toward Sodom, but Aaron, but but Abraham stood yet before the Lord. Come on. And Abraham drew near and said, "Will thou also destroy the righteous with the wicked?" So this is all that the uh, Moses and Aaron were saying. They were pleading for the righteous that was among the congregation. Okay, um, it's not that the Lord was doing something that was wicked. We were like, why would the Lord want to destroy the whole congregation for one man? That congregation was going off. Okay, everybody understand that? Sure. Um, but what Moses is pleading for was the few among them um, that were still righteous. Read on. Verse 24. Come on. Per adventure, there be 50 righteous within the city. Will thou also destroy and not spare the place for the 50 righteous Come. that are therein? Come on. That be far from thee to do after this manner. Come on. To slay the righteous with the wicked. Come on. And that the righteous should be as the wicked. Read on. That be far from thee. Shall not the judge of all the earth do right? Come on. And the Lord said, If I find in Sodom 50 righteous within the city, Come on. Then I will spare all the place for their sakes. Okay, so again, in every time period, word reapplying, um, understanding the, the, the uh, um, understanding of what went down with Abraham, all that was given to Moses. Moses knew what to do when he found himself in the same position where there was righteous that was among the wicked and the Lord was getting ready to smite everybody. He went and he pled for the righteous. Do everybody understand that? Sure. Let's get Revelation chapter 18. Revelation chapter 18, verse 4. So that's why, and, and it's also uh, um, a warning uh, to the congregation for the Lord to let you know, don't even chance it. Do not um, allow yourself to be caught around the wicked because you may catch their judgment. You understand that? That's why this Revelation chapter 18 is. You want to get destroyed with them? You better get away from them. That's what God's saying. Because he had smite in the moment. You end up getting taken up with him. Everybody, what you doing with the wicked? 
Everybody understand that? Right. Revelation chapter 18 and 4. Read it. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Read on. Come out of her, my people. Read on. That ye be not partakers of her sins. Read on. And that ye receive not of her plagues. Okay, so this is what you see was about to happen until Moses stood and pleaded for the righteous that was among them. Let's go back to Numbers chapter 16. Number 16, and we're going to go back. Uh, we're going to pick up in verse 23. Number 16, verse 23. Read. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the congregation, saying, Read on. Get you up from the tap, get you up from about the tabernacle of Korah, Dathan, and Abiram. Okay, so because of the few righteous among the congregation, the Lord spared everybody among the congregation. Do everybody understand that? He was getting ready to smote them, but then he told them, okay, tell them all to get away from the, the ringleaders that I'm about to get. Do everybody understand that? Okay, so the, the ringleaders remained the focus of the, uh, the unfaithful uh, troublemakers remained the focus of God. Do everybody understand that? So what does that show you? That the prayers of the righteous... They do avail much. Do everybody understand that? Let's go to the book of James, chapter 5, verse 16. Just from the righteous being among them, they got spared. James, chapter 5, verse 16. Read that. Confess your faults one to another. Read on. And pray one for another. Come on. That you may be healed. Come on. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Now let's go back let's go back to verse 15 read verse 15 please and the prayer of faith shall save the sick. Shall do what? Save the sick. Read on. And the Lord shall raise him up. Read on. And if he have committed sins they shall be forgiven him. Okay so the righteous can actually uh, be a very uh, can be a benefit to, to the wicked. Do everybody understand that? Right. Um, but the righteous uh, remaining in their righteousness and, and praying for them, hopefully that can t uh, cause the wicked to change from their wicked ways before the Lord judged them. Do everybody understand that? Right. Let's go back to Romans chapter 2. Let's go to Romans chapter 2, verse 8. But if they remain in their wickedness, this is what the Lord said, Re uh, Romans chapter 2, verse 8. Read. But unto them that are contentious. Yeah, that want to continue to argue. Read on. And do not obey the truth. And yeah, that's not going to follow what they're supposed to follow. Read on. But obey unrighteousness. Read on. Indignation. Okay, unto them is indignation. Come on. And wrath. And the wrath of the Almighty God. Come on. Tribulation. And tribulation. Read on. And anguish. And anguish of their souls. Read on. Upon every soul of... Read on. Upon every soul of man that doeth evil. Let's go back to Numbers chapter 16. Ain't nobody getting away, basically. That's what's being said. Judgment will be executed. Number 16, but ringleaders, troublemakers, the Lord going to make examples of them. Traitors, number 16, verse 25. Read. And Moses rose up and went unto Dathan and Abiram, the elders of Israel, and the elders of Israel followed him. Read on. And he spake unto the congregation, saying, Depart, I pray you, from the tents of these wicked men. Read on. And touch nothing of theirs. Yeah, read on. Lest ye be consumed in all their sins. Okay, so that's Revelations 18 and 4 right there. You better get away from them. You better not be a part of them. Judgment is coming down on them. Read on. So they got up from the tabernacle of Korah, Dathan and Abiram, on every side. Come on. And Dathan and Abiram came out and stood in the door of their tents and their wives and their sons and their little children. Read on. And Moses said, Hereby ye shall know that the Lord, hereby ye shall know that the Lord have sent me to do all these works. Read on. For I have not done them of mine own mind. Read on. If these men die the common death of all men. Read on. Or if they be visited after the visitation of all men. Read on. Then the Lord have not sent me. Read on. But if the Lord make a new thing and the earth open her mouth and swallow them up. Read on. With all that appertain unto them. Read on. And they go down quick into the pit. Then ye shall understand that these men have provoked the Lord. Yeah, they went down quick in the hell. Quick. Okay. It wasn't no, you know, kill them, let their bodies stink for a couple of days and bury them. And all. No, they went, they went straight to hell. Everything that they own, everything. They just went straight to hell. 